What's going on guys, you're watching Grey Fox Play and in today's Red Dead Redemption video I'm going to be showing you how you can come across the cult cabin and the UFO that they all killed themselves over. This is why aliens don't come to Earth because people act like fucking lunatics muttering themselves for what? Anyway Anyway, when you get to the cabin you're going to want to come and inspect this letter on Mr. Leader of the Cult's desk. And this note reads, At the second hour, under the half moon, by the great love and grace of our saviour, Katawodwaba, Voyager of time and galaxies, we cast off our corporal shells so his vessel can take our spirits to the promised realm to live in peace and power until the 2000th year when we will return for the new chosen and worship once again at the peak of Mount Chan. In his love we rejoice always. Sounds like garbage to me, but we are out here hunting a UFO, so maybe I should open my mind a bit. I mean, there is vast galaxies that we cannot comprehend. Things that just cannot be explained, but... Oh, a cigarette card! So depending on what time you came here, I came here in the evening so I'm just going to have to wait a couple of hours. But if you came here in the day, you're just going to have to wait till 2 in the morning. Um, however you choose to kill your time, there's a pond right next to the cabin so I just chose to do a spot of fishing. Had only a couple of minutes to kill so... But if you uh, came here during the day, you might just want to set up a camp sleep your time away and make, just make sure you make it here by between 12 o'clock and 2 o'clock not quite there yet there's our half moon and now we are right on time walk into the cabin just after 12 and you will be greeted with a very green light beaming down through the beams onto your face. Equipping your gun and aiming it towards it is going to give you a better view. You can uh, tilt your neck is how I choose to uh, look at it but you just get a better view if you uh, aim your gun at it. Not that you get a brilliant view anyway, I think that's the point. You only get a little glimpse of it. It's supposed to be all mysterious. So I tried to get a better glimpse of this, tried to uh, activate Deadeye and back out, get a better glimpse of it, but didn't really work. Kind of just takes off, as soon as you walk out the door it starts going up. Slightly better view there, but still pretty bad. So following the garbage notes instructions that turned out not to be garbage, uh, we're going to go to the peaks of Mount Chan, which you can find here just north of Strawberry. And we're going to go see if we can find the other one that they spoke of. Yep. 
another half moon. I'm not sure that this one is time sensitive. Uh, I think as long as you show up at night, I'm pretty sure you'll uh, you'll get it no matter what time it is, as long as it's close to, closer to night time than it is day. And there she is. Blinking lights in the sky. Cattle mutilating, anal probe giving little people. Bye. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. The truth is out there. As always, take it easy.